Well guys, welcome to Stavanger. And yes, we know we're not big fans of cities, but we really want to go and do the park run tomorrow. So uh, we've parked up at the marina, really nice spot. Our original spot, unfortunately, there's an event happening, but the marina is not a bad spot to, to be at. Although we did move three times because I couldn't decide where I wanted to be. Yeah. And we're now in the noisiest bit. Exactly, but anyway, so we're going to take a wander in the Stavanger, spend the afternoon in here and see what there is to see with a, a heavy emphasis on sea not by. And on the word heavy, my bag is heavy because we had to bring our own food and drink. We did, exactly. So we need to eat it soon to lighten the load. Yeah. Stavanger, let's go explore. It's all on Nicola's plan, isn't it? She find us another market. <sighs> and here we are secretly hoping for attack of the swans. We could sit in the little restaurant behind us and have a couple of coffees and a couple of buns for probably about 15 quid. Or we could get the best seat in the house and have our own. By the I way, Nicola has got no willpower whatsoever. Let's bring our own stuff. We brought in our own biscuits and Nicola was like, ooh, three buns for 35. That seems like a good deal. It's actually not that cheap because I was thinking just get one, but you had to buy them in threes. You Shame. had to buy them in threes. So. You did. We share in one. Need the butter. How much do you reckon butter is in that place back there? Mm. Hot crust bun. Mm, it is. Definitely needs butter though. Ignore the giant cruise ship in the background. We've now brought ourselves over. Oh. Nicola playing with a big cannon. So we're going to explore the old town for a little while. Nicola, however, is tempted to try to sneak onto the cruise ship. You know how much she likes multifaceted breakfast, lunches, and teas. And I hear that's what you do in cruise ships. Bring your stretchy pants. So here we have the lovely old town and the big hulking cruise ship. Very nice part of Stavanger, actually. And as Nicola just said, it's, um, this is how it all used to be. And apparently most of it was built in the Sort of early to mid 1800s, it's still in really, really good condition because they're all wooden. I'm pretty sure though that they don't like the fact that the giant cruise ship you can just see here <laughs> probably comes here a couple of times a week during the summer months because it really does kind of it's a bit of a, bit a odd juxtaposition <laughs> with the old town, but yeah, beautiful, really nice part of the town. And it, actually, it does feel really tranquil here, not too busy at all. And yeah. there is an ice cream shop, of course, has to be a cafe Absolutely. right in the middle. But we've had our treat for today. I blew that one on a knot, that tasty raisin bun. I didn't sign up for one treat a day <laughs> nonsense. That's, that's rubbish, that is. Oof. Read the small print of our wedding vows. There was none of this one treat a day nonsense. No way. Uh -uh. Never going to happen. Well, that is the first little bit of Stavanger done and dusted. I would say in that area, you probably only need a couple of hours, especially if you're not going to be buying anything. <laughs> but um, it's really nice. And actually, I think Nicola pointed out that even though it's Norway's fourth largest city, it's actually not that busy, it's quite nice. But yeah, we're parked along the marina. No services, but free parking. And I think you can stay here two days, which is what our potential plan is going to be. But we're gonna head back to the van, raid the fridge and chill out for the evening. So I guess we'll catch up at some point in the morning when I hear it's park run. I need to get myself motivated for that now. Mm -hmm. yeah. More pasta, eh? <laughs> See you in the morning, guys. Well, good morning, guys. Lovely, peaceful night. Although one of my friends came down to visit a guy I used to work with. And one of the things you've got to be careful of when you come to Norway is the illusion of time. So we just sort of were standing about chatting away, chatting away, chatting away. And because it was still daylight, 
we just naturally assumed that it was maybe about half nine or so. Next thing we look at our watches and it's like half 11, 20 to 12. <laughs> so we're both a little, little tired this morning, up early, dressed for running. We're gonna head off and do this Devanga Park Run. But yeah, a really nice place to stay. Can't see it staying like this for long, remind you, because they are doing a huge amount of construction in the background and apparently it's going to be um, apartments. So I think once those apartments go up, I think all of this freeness, because of course getting free parking, even my friend Georg was saying, you're free parking somewhere in Stavanger? That is not possible. I can hear my coffee brewing and then it's time for a run. We'll catch up on the way. So you know the way I'm logistics man, and that means plan A, plan B, plan C, and then every so often Nicola throws a hand grenade in. Well, today's hand grenade was Stavanger Park Room. Do you want to tell everyone why, Nicola? It's cancelled. There's a music festival, stupid music festival. And of course we then said, well, we'll go to the music festival because Nicola said on uh, yesterday, well, the point of the, there's a free, free music festival. There's a free music festival in town. So I was like, oh, we'll go to the music festival. So we're like, okay, we'll go out for a run, we'll come back, we'll do our things, and then we'll go to this free music festival. So which I Which is at the park run, which is why it's cancelled. So I then looks up, idiot quid each for a day pass. I think we need to look up the term free. But the, the one good thing is at least I checked park run, only because Nigel said. Yeah. Otherwise, we would have cycled all the way there to find nobody else there. Yeah. And if anyone who knows Parkrun knows that that information about it being cancelled would have been on there for at least a week. But I'm okay because we're in Stavanger, the sun's shining, we're about to go for a run. I'm not stressed out at all. And you know what? Nobody's perfect. It's just it's my only little fault. <laughs> oh, let's run. I'm going to have to run about 400 miles. She's going to the scenic route. And there's you thinking the whole room is going to be picturesque, eh? <laughs> the industrial heartlands of Stavanger. Deep. So this run is not only good for the physical body, but it gets the old noggin thinking as well. I'm all for that. And that's us almost back. I just wish we had the secret code pass for this little sauna. Look at this little beach area. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, Nicola's off. Little seats. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Stunning. Need the code though. Oh, she's off. Chase her down. Nice little 5K. That's my first 5K since buggering up my calf, so. And I was trying to do a sprint finish and then my shoelace came undone. So I started running like Phoebe from Friends. I was like, why is she running like that? She might have to get it in video, but right. Quick wipe down and then I think we're going to jump on the bikes and head over to see some swords. But they're probably closed or 7,000 krona as well. Are you sure you've done your research? Open 24 hours, so mm -hmm. they're free. We'll see you over there. How was the bike ride for you? Horrible. <laughs> Nicola just, really loves, Nicola just loves bike rides. So this is actually where we were intending on parking. This is Madla. The car park's up here. It's kind of allowed for camper vans. But there, there was a festival. There was no parking in the car park we were going to go on. So um, we had to go and park where we were, down by the marina, which is nice. Although there are loads of vans in the car park, so we're not quite sure what's going on. That's probably, hey, on prob me, on me. Probably a giveaway. Well, I was about to say, we're going to have to guess what the festival is, but given the fact that... Looks a bit medieval. Some dude in robes just walked past. Maybe that's what it is. Everyone is wearing like medieval clobber. Given the fact that everyone's wearing medieval clobber, clobber and we're wearing spandex, we're going to be like we've come from the future. <laughs> I quite like them. Yeah, yeah it's quite, quite nice. Cool. Quite nice. Um, wrong time of day to be photographing them, mind you, because the best views there, I think. But thankfully, even though we can't get into the festival, there was a little beachy area there, so we brought ourselves some coffee. Nicola has brought herself a little treat from Portugal. No, from Spain. I'm not sure if I'm, we were going to dip here. You're dipping, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. It's too stony, I think, for me, and a bit stuff floating around. Stuff. <laughs> right. So I'm going to wimp out. Put you away, and we'll go grab a coffee, and this one will go in for a dip. What do you see? No. <laughs> Choice has, that's the last word. So go on, Nicola, what's your treats that you brought all the way from Portugal? Spain. Spain. You get them in the Dia supermarkets. 
And a memento relaxed gel deo. And how many packages did you buy? I bought 10, which cost me about nine pounds, I think. But they are the best breadsticks I've ever had in my whole life. And so, you not? and so we have got 10 packets and she's limiting herself. One to pack a week, one but I don't know what week. I'm gonna do after the 10 weeks. I'm gonna be like, withdrawal. Good job we didn't have to pay customs and those as well, eh? I need to go back to Spain or anybody in Spain wanna send me some. Yeah, care package. Peel box in Norway. Yeah. Cooks. Can't wait. Remember, on the They've got little sunflower, get off. They've got little sunflower seeds in. They're the best thing ever. Go on then. That's all I'm allowed. Mm. Nicola does that a lot in this vlog. Chomps them to give thumbs ups. Mm. Anyway, back to coffee. Well, we did both go in the water. It was quite nice. No footage, of course, because the GoPro, as always, mucked up. GoPro, you're hopeless. But we did see, or I, I found a quite a big crab and a catfish nibbled my toe. Or so she says, no footage. Indeed. Pictures or didn't happen. Right? Ready for another 70 or 8k cycle home? No, not even slightly ready. What if I were to say there's tasty treats waiting back in the van? Yeah, but I know you're lying. Oh. <laughs> I tried. See you back there. Well, good evening, guys. So we actually have decided to stay down by the marina again tonight. And I think that decision has paid off. There's a little beach just along the way, which we discovered this morning on our run. And as the sun sets, not a bad place to come and chill out for a bit, so. It's lovely, really relaxing. Really nice. And if only somebody could bring me a cocktail. <laughs> she doesn't mean that because she'll be arrested. Oh, you're not allowed to drink outside? There you go. Oh. Why do you think I'm not sitting here right now mm -hmm. having a, <laughs> a cold one? Beautiful day, end of the evening and a really good uh, couple of days spent here in Stavanger. Over the next week, we're hoping to do a few hikes, including Pulpit Rock, which should be a lot of fun. But I guess that's going to be a story for next time. If you come to Norway, give yourself a day, maybe two days to come and explore Stavanger. Mm -hmm. It's quite small, uh, but it is lovely. Right guys, well, once again, thanks a lot for following along. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.